Hey everyone, I'm Lily Rubio. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to do your pedicure from your sink. That's right, I'm not going crazy. I'm going to show you how easy it is. This is going to save you so much time and money and I got some quick little tricks to show you too. I'm a little reluctant to post this because I really do not like showing my feet. They're not the prettiest things, but it's such a good trick that I'm willing to set that aside and just put it out there to help all you ladies. Anyways, come with me to my bathroom. I'm in my PJs, nice and comfy, and I'm gonna take you into my bathroom and show you how I do this from my sink. Come on. So here's everything that you'll need. If you don't have one of these products, you can improvise, but it's worth making the investment because it will last you forever. Here's a little sneak peek on how bad it was, but look, all of that dryness went away and I'm about to show you my trick how. Let's get started. So here's my first little tip and trick. By adding sea salt to the water, it reduces swelling, tension, and it makes your skin really soft. Now it's time to set the mood with some soft, relaxing music. I'm gonna lay out a towel on the opposite end of the sink and start off by clipping your toenails, then filing, and then adding a really thick moisturizer to your cuticles. Then soak your feet for five to 10 minutes. Once your skin has been softened, push back the cuticle and cut off excess skin with the cuticle scissor. So this is why doing it from your sink is so much easier. Can you see how your feet are right there, accessible? It's so much better than hunching over in your bathtub or putting a bowl on the floor and filling it with water and then leaning over. perception, please break the chain. Next, take that really thick lotion and apply it directly on the pumice rock. You're gonna scrub, scrub, scrub your feet. This is not an easy job, especially if your feet are really dry and cracked. Do not be afraid to just really scrub it at all different angles. The pumice rock will remove most of your dead skin, but you'll still have some left over, and that's why you need this coarse foot file. You're just gonna file down any rough edges that still remain on your foot and this is gonna be that final perfect touch to giving you those soft feet. Finish off by giving yourself a little foot rub and then soak your feet for a few more minutes to make sure all the oils have been removed. Now it's time for polish. Take a paper towel and roll it up for your little DIY toe separator. Then paint it a beautiful spring color of your choice. and getting pedicures all the time. So if you want to check out another video that I did on how to maintain your feet and keep them soft and silky in between your pedicures, make sure and go over to the mom post to check that out. Thanks so much for watching guys. I'll see you in the next one, bye. If you want to peek into our life, check out my blog, Cupcake Mommy Life. Music by Stephanie Smith, maybe. Hold your captive, or change or choose a direction. But please stop